guys, so today we want to show you something different, uh, which is going to the restaurant. Here is Kat Mawiana in Rzeszów, the city that we are living in. Uh, so uh, we want to try some traditional food from this uh, area, uh, which is uh, southeastern Poland, close to the border with Ukraine and um, Slovakia. So yeah, let's go!
you can also get your beagles, uh, cottage hubbub, and yeah, so if you are in Poland and you want to try authentic Polish food, this is the place to go. It's called Kat. Our last dish is in here, and I bet all of you know what it is. And these are dumplings, um, pierogi. Uh, we ordered three different kinds of pierogi, 15 pieces in total. Uh, so we have pierogi with uh, mashed potatoes and cottage cheese, pierogi ruskia, pierogi with uh, sauerkraut and mushrooms, pierogi z kapustą i grzybami, and the pierogi with meat, which means uh, pierogi z mięsem. So, oh, and on the top of it you have uh, grapes and caramelized onion, maybe some butter. So, okay, let me try the first one. So, in here we have, oh, this is sauerkraut and mushrooms. I think the lightest one is pierogi ruskia with the cottage cheese and mashed potatoes. Yeah, so we have it in here. And this uh, pierogi is my favorite. And pierogi with meat, maybe this one. No, this is also sauerkraut, so maybe this one? Yes. So, everyone has a different recipe for pierogi with meat. I think this is maybe some um, chicken and pork, or maybe only pork. My mom made it with beef and pork, and I think it's the best combination, but it's also more, more expensive. So in restaurants, you usually have pork. So let me try it. It's good, but not as good as my mom made. Mm. And now, pierogi ruskia. Mm. This is one of the best I've ever had in the restaurant. And pierogi with sauerkraut. Wow, they are really good. Mm. I love it. So, we just finished our dinner and it was all so delicious. <laughs> we could also feel that we are really in Poland because we were hearing the conversation of the waitress. And there were three of them. Uh, two of them were a bit older, about 50 years old, and one was um, in our age. And they were telling her that she's already so old because, because she's 27 and she's not married and she should marry soon because she shouldn't be alone for so long. <laughs> and it's so funny because it's only in Poland, 27 years old is not that old. Uh, and on the other hand, you don't have to be married to be happy. So yeah, people in Poland still believe that you should marry before you are 25, that you should have kids. and. That's it. If you are going the different path, then something is wrong with you, and we need to talk with you, uh, and you have to change. <laughs> so, yeah, this is fun.